New Excel progress chart just dropped. This isn't built in, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. You can do it pretty easily. So believe it or not, there is a chart here and it is a donut chart right here. You can't see any of the elements except for one. Everything else is either shapes and or text, believe it or not. Text that is linked to your value so it updates automatically. So for those who don't know, you just drop in text under the insert tab. There's a text box option. And then all we've done is clicked into these and then hit equals up in our formula bar and tied them back to our values here. This is working just like the Apple Watch weather chart. You've got a min value, max value, and progress towards your max value. That's what we're using to calculate everything. So the math, math here is pretty straightforward. You just take min minus max, and that's gonna give you the range to be covered. Then you take your value minus the min value, and that's the progress you've made towards that end goal of the max value. And then you just divide one by the other to give you the percent. So we're just pulling that down to another row, and then on that row we're adding a few more values to fill in the rest of our chart. So one is 10%, that is our orange value, that is eventually gonna be our dot. That's hardwired to 10%. On either side of our orange segment, we have our progress towards our goal. On the other side, we take 100%, and we take our progress from our goal plus 10% and subtract it from that 100%. What that's gonna do is give us the other side of our arc so that the degrees of progress are always consistent. And then because our chart's a funny shape, I've just added 0.8 at the bottom so that I have a nice bottom segment here to keep it balanced. Then we just make all our segments transparent except for the orange. And then for our orange segment, we give it a gradient fill and we're gonna use a radial gradient to create this dot. So here's the settings for that gradient. So we're gonna have it be radial. It's gonna be from the center. On one side, it's gonna be a fully dark color, whatever dark color you wanna use. Then that color repeated and then next to it, a fully transparent, transparency at 100% for that same color. If you combine those together, what it's gonna do is have a radial gradient that ends abruptly. And what that looks like ultimately is a nice little dot. For our background, we've just inserted a circle that goes behind it. We've just sized that circle so it fits right on the path of our donut chart. And then on top of that, we've just inserted a rectangle that's white to mask out the part that we wanna mask out so that we can put our numbers over it. And now as we change our values, the chart will update accordingly and put our dot in the place that represents the progress we're making towards the goal. Hope that helps everyone. If you want free copies of the templates, all that stuff, it's over on my profile. I send them out for free. Have a good one. Bye for now.